if you heard the name of this show, you've heard of our first guest. <laughs> she sold over 25 million albums. She's won, yes. She's won The Voice four times. She's the winner of two sports Emmys. <laughs> she does it all. <laughs> She's a mother of two beautiful children, and I'm using her dressing room today. <laughs> so let's say hi to Kelly Clarkson. You know, I started to show up looking like that today, Kelly, but I didn't want to do you like that. Sometimes women don't rise, Taraji. Sometimes, hey, look. Sometimes we fall. <laughs> <laughs> but you got up, because you're on the screen. <laughs> look, I thought, I thought we were done with quarantining. Right. And I'm so tired. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I broke a nail. I'm oh, so no. broken. This is me broken. Oh, I'm, all my makeup's expired. America, this is what I look like. Well, You're welcome. Let me say this to you, Kelly. This is the first time I've left my house since Christmas. <laughs> oh, you got guess you guys, a couple of people want to say hi to you. Y'all. Y'all. Hi. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> we made it. Come back. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk to? Oh, my God. What's... Ru hey, Roman, are you wearing a superhero costume? N no, I, I went, I went, uh, you know, Saved by the Bell. You weren't here. Saved by so. the Bell, Zach Attack! <laughs> yeah, it is. You see me. <laughs> I, I miss y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm not even sick. It's so weird. Anyway, I know. we're keeping it safe, and that's it. It's okay if you have wine in that mug. We'll pretend it's coffee. <laughs> 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 it's happy hour somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I love this. I saw you tweeted recently um, one, our third night in a row to watch Encanto. Ha! Huh, my kids are obsessed. I don't mind. It's so good. So how's that going? Huh? Are you still watching Encanto? It is good, but like, do you... Okay, you might get this. I, when I watch a movie with my children, it's like watching three movies, okay? You watch, and we're watching Encanto. I'll show you my broken nail. Right. Um, <laughs> Encanto, and then you're listening to my son, who always leaves, like, mid-movie and just starts singing the soundtrack. So you have the movie going, and he's singing the soundtrack. And then you have River, who literally just, right after the line is said, she just repeats like she's memorizing dialogue for a play. She just <laughs> says the lines as they're... I'm like, baby... We, I'm here, like, we, she'll look at me and she'll be like, she just said, and I'm like, I know, because <laughs> we are both here watching it. So, but literally, it's like watching three movies. We've seen it so much, but it's so cute. Yeah. We've seen that in Ghostbusters. It's that or Ghostbusters, the Afterlife, the new one. I love We've it. We've seen that a lot. But once I put them to bed, I have, you can tell I'm having a rough time if I just go to one of my classic shows that I, like, really need to tell. Like, if you catch me watching Pillow Talk by Doris Day, it's a dark moment I'm having. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just... that's where I did, like, or Castle. I've been watching reruns of Castle. I just want, and he doesn't exist. That character doesn't <laughs> exist. That's a lie. <laughs> that man is not out there. <laughs> no, no, Kelly, no. no. Kelly, come back. The entertainment. Come back into not. the light. Come back into the light, <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> I okay. love it. I love it. Look, I know what it's like when the kids start to get to you, right? So can I give you some advice? Can I give you some advice? Yes. You know, kids do anything for French fries. Have you tried that yet? Have you met Remy? My son is a French fry. <laughs> he is a French fry. He, does, he only eats bait. <laughs> he, a French fry is his food group. That's all the food That's group. That's it. He likes French fries. That's it. <laughs> How old is he? Five. Yeah. That's, they, um, French fries and uh, tater tots and chicken nuggets, right? I can imagine. Yes, I That's... can't get him to eat a chicken nugget. No, he's no? now, and this is the funniest thing ever because his dad is a rancher, but like he is like kind of against meat. <laughs> hey, look, I he get it. He found out that you kill the animal and he is like, he'll look at me and he'll be like, is this an animal? And I'll be <laughs> like, well, yeah, it's chicken. And he's like, oh no. Well, tell him I'm not eating meat this week either. Let's talk about this new project, girl. It sounds amazing. Tell us about it. I'm so excited, actually, because I didn't know when we'd be able to, like, talk about it, but apparently I can now. So it's <laughs> called American Song Contest, and um, I've been talking to the producers of The Voice and Eurovision um, for a minute about it. Um, it's I've been obsessed with Eurovision, so when I went overseas, like, years ago, um, you know, after winning Idol, I, 
I noticed like there was this huge competition. I never heard of it before and it's called Eurovision and it was amazing. And I thought it was so cool because all the territories get represented. So they're finally bringing it over to the States and it's called American Song Contest, ASC. And it's really cool because I feel like, I think everybody could agree, we're pretty divided like as a nation. And it's really cool because all 50 states, um, there's five U.S. territories and then um, uh, D.C., uh, our nation's capital, everybody gets represented. So like there's a person representing every state, every part, and they all enter in this um, competition. And the cool thing about it, too, is that it's original songs. And as a songwriter, I think that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Because it's like a different, you know, like there's a lot of shows out there, you know, that have competitions with like, um, you know, singing or artists or whatever. And it's really cool because it's um, the best song wins out. And I'm hosting, I'm co-hosting with Snoop Dogg. Hey! Which we got to work on the <laughs> I I'm love so it! Excited. Oh, we work worked together on The Voice. It was so fun. Yeah, he's great. He's great. You know, I know him from Baby Boy years, years ago, but he's still a really dear oh friend God. of mine. He's incredible. You're going to have a good time. That's not even going to be work. <laughs> oh my God, I know. That's why I was like, they, they asked me, and I'm like, first of all, I'm like such a nerd. I'm so excited about the show. So, all right, I'll do that. <laughs> and um, it was just exciting because I liked working with Snoop Dogg. So, that was, I'd already worked with them. So, that I think that'll be really cool too. I'm, this is probably going to be what I'm going to wear for that too. So, that's good. <laughs> it's this all good. You'll be beautiful. <laughs> Keeping it real all the time. What are you doing? What are you up to? Well, I can finally say um, that I will be oh. filming the new uh, version of Color Purple, the film, the feature. <laughs> what? And um, I, I will uh, I will be playing Suge Avery. Suge Avery's coming to town. Hide your husband, honey. <laughs> It's fine. It's a, no, <laughs> never, Kelly. I can never. You have sports Emmys. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> they just hand them out. <laughs> Look, I hear you're doing construction on your house, and I'm about to start. How is that going? <laughs> Drink your so, coffee. Wink, wink. <laughs> so it like here's the thing. It looks like. Like, when people come to my house, it looks like I have Dexter kill rooms everywhere. <laughs> like, there's... Look, oh, my yes. God, look at that. Renovations are not fun, but they have, you, they have to be done. Yeah, they do. I'm about to start. I was just, I don't know, I was hoping to hear some happy news. But anyway, we bonded over our love of Christmas last time. Like, so do you have any mm -hmm. uh, Christmas ornaments and things still around the house? <laughs> Drink your coffee. Um. <laughs> I have not, look, it's busy, yeah. okay? There's a lot going on. And yeah. so I have not had time to, I have all my stuff up. Oh, wow. That's, That's okay. That was taken today. They asked me, that my, they were like, do you have your Christmas stuff up? And I was like, don't judge me. Yes, I do. <laughs> look, look, I couldn't get the right containers. And so I finally, they're on their way and I'm gonna put it up. But you know what? I've decided I'm probably gonna keep the tree up and I'm just gonna do different holidays like Valentine's Day. I'm gonna be that crazy you person. Gotta, right. <laughs> Are you gonna just, just change the colors? Just put pink for Valentine's, you know, if it's yeah. Easter, put pastel colors. Easter. I, yeah. I won't judge you then. <laughs> I don't, you know what? Judge away, America. <laughs> That's right. That's why I love you. Do what, do what's good for you. <laughs> Look, I have to get to the rest of the show. The Irwins are here, and I have a great story about teens using music to help their peers cope with stress. Anything you want me to ask our guests? Hey, I love the latter. The, the last thing you just talked me about. Me too, me I too. I started writing, actually, because I had a problem with emoting, and mm. um, my mom actually told me to start writing and use music as my outlet. That is such a... That's a, such a beautiful thing. Like, you can have nothing in common, but, like, you can have... Music, music, and it's so powerful. So music. I love that you're doing that. Absolutely. I think it's beautiful what these young guys are doing. I can't wait to meet them. I can't. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully they dressed up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> my robe brought to you by Chrissy Teigen. Thank you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelly, it's always good to see you, honey. Okay, All good right, to see bye, you. Charlie, Take care. Thank you so much. Yes, mama, stay safe. <laughs>